Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do an updated March reading for Aquarius. Uh, this is the second one I did. I did one uh, before the Pisces one, but it only it only recorded halfway through, so now I gotta do it over. Anyhow, so that one was about survival. Okay, I'm feeling the first card out was the star card in this deck right here, which was help, 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 help. You may feel like you or you may have ex or you are experiencing a devastating situation. You may be feeling devastated like you've been in some sort of catastrophe. You know, this is devastating. Yes, I understand it probably is, but you will survive. Okay, because help is arriving. Everything happens for a reason. This is a blessing in disguise, even though you may not see it. So let's just start over and see what happens. And it's interesting because I had to start the video over. So you're going to be starting over. Okay, starting over is a big theme. Okay, you're starting over. Maybe you need to get creative. Okay, and come up with something new. Okay, you need to come up with something new. So... A star is about renewal and hope and healing and a blessing after the tower falls. So yeah, there's some sort of disruption in your life, but it really is a blessing. Uh, what do we have? What do we have for Aquarius? Justice. Justice. So we got the justice card. Justice is a card of karma. It's also a card of the law, you know, karmic law or the law getting involved there could be a fight. It looks like there's going to be a fight, okay? Where the law might even, the law might get, get called, called in, you know? When people get stuck with people and, you know, they're in lockdown or, you know, they're stuck in situations, it can cause a lot of, uh, triggers per se, you know? People can get triggered. People can, um, if you get in situations where they're just easily irritated or whatnot, feels like there's going to be some sort of, well, it looks like this person gets rear-ended, rear gets rear-ended and it causes an uproar. So somebody may get rear-ended or, you know, uh, there's some sort of rage. Somebody is probably going to be enraged in the, in the next couple of re weeks. Okay, just got to be honest. The law may get involved, you know. Maybe somebody ends up calling the police or something like that. There may need to be a mediation. There may need to... Somebody may try to mediate the situation or mitigate the situation or whatever the case is. Looks as though... Um, Somebody is definitely going to get upset by the looks of things. There's going to be an upset. And it's like, it's not my fault. It's your fault. It's not my fault. It's your fault. You know, so there's going to be a disagreement. Be prepared to, to deal with some sort of disagreement in the, couple, in the next couple of weeks. And it feels like these two people were too close. They were too close to each other. And that makes sense because I feel like that's what this is, is you get, you get in a situation where you're, you're with somebody and, you know, you can't take it anymore. You can't take it anymore. It's like, oh my God, I can't take this anymore. I just need some fucking space. Excuse my language, but you need space. And I think that it causes, you know, somebody doesn't give you the space. They don't give you the space that you need. And it causes a crash. It causes a bang. Okay. So be prepared for that. It's like you need space. Somebody doesn't give you the space that you need. And, you know, some sort of fight ensues. So be prepared for that. Star. Okay, I did see that. So help will arrive, and that is help arriving to mitigate the situation. That is. So help will arrive. Help, this is help arriving. So you will be, you will, um, be able to handle this situation. It will turn out in your favor. The situation is going to turn out in your favor. It is. You will be, you will be, um, seen. You will be seen. You will be heard. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, now the star card is everything happens for a reason, happens for a purpose. It is, um, a blessing in disguise. But perhaps whatever it is that was, was whatever happened, maybe it was time for something new. 
because this is a renewal. Maybe it was. Maybe this had to happen. It had to happen because it was time for something new. Yeah, we have relationship problems here. So we have a relationship that is, you know, maybe it's, 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 it's time for, you know, to let it go. I mean, the Ten of Cups reversed. That is a relationship that is not on the same page. There's a lack of happiness. It may have reached the end of the road. You know, the it's 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 at the end. Maybe this is what you've secretly you know been wishing for. Um, yeah, you've manifested something. This is a card of manifestation as above, so below, and this is a wish being granted. You asked for this. This is what you asked asked for. This is what you asked for. Somebody is in a relationship that is not making them happy. You know, your thoughts truly do become things, and that is a meaning of this card. So if you've been thinking that you want out of this relationship, they're answering your prayers. But they may not be answering them in the easiest way, okay? Because it looks like there's going to be a crash, or there's going to be a bang-up, okay? there's It's going to be... You know, there's, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. All right? So, we have... Woo! Wow. We have somebody here that is very protective. Very much wanting to be in control. We have somebody here that likes to be in control that is very skilled. I mean, this is a very skilled individual. Very wise. This is a masculine. This is a masculine and this is a ma masculine energy. So we have a masculine that is making a decision. And it looks like his mind is not going to be able to be changed. Once he makes up his mind, his mind is going to be made up. Put it that way. And he is taking action. This masculine is going to take action. It looks like he is turning his back on a relationship. And he's probably going to get mad. Okay, he's going to get very mad. He's going to get upset. He's going to, it may have something to do with a daughter. There could be a daughter here that is a big factor. I'm not sure. We definitely have a father, um, a husband, a boss. I mean, this guy could be a business owner. He has his own business owner. The business, this guy's taking action. So we do have a masculine, and this is absolutely a masculine. This, these are both masculine cards, and this one is too. So we do have a masculine that is taking action. He hasn't taken action, but I think there's going to be an argument that causes him to take action. Yes, there's going to be a fight. There is definitely going to be a fight, okay? With a seven of cup or seven of wands reversed. You know, this is this is uh being worn down, overwhelmed, quitting. I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. I don't want to do this anymore. So I feel like we have somebody here that is is deciding that, you know, they want something more. And it happens, so there's something that happens suddenly, okay? There is something that happens suddenly that causes an outburst. It causes a, a fit of rage, right? It does. Um... This is exhausting. So somebody is exhausted by the circumstances. They've been weighed down. They've. It's like, I can't do this anymore. I just can't do this anymore. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of, of, of fighting with you. I'm tired of uh, pretending we're happy. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of this. So somebody is making a decision. They're making a decision. Uh, it looks like they they see a better future. They probably have this um, vision of something more beautiful, something more promising. You know, it's not what they wished for. It's like I'm I'm gonna go follow my dreams. They're dreaming of something better. So this why this is why this guy is taking action. And there is some sort of help from the universe here. Okay, there is. There definitely is. Um, so this is somebody that has made some poor decisions. They may have been uh, uh, superficial, shallow, egotistical, uh, focused too much on their job, wasn't really focused on a relationship, wasn't focused on growing a relationship because it looks as though there's a lack of, of love here. There may have been some sort of sexual attraction, but it looks like it, well, there wasn't a real emotional connection here. 
So I feel like we have somebody here that is willing to shed the old to bring in the new. And they have this bigger, brighter opportunity that they have been praying for, asking for. And the universe has heard those prayers. Okay? So I think that the that the universe is, is, is bringing or making somebody, you know, putting somebody into some sort of situation that... In, courtesy of the coronavirus okay they're putting somebody into a situation where there's they're not getting any space and it's just it's, it's things are going to blow up things are absolutely going to blow up there's going to be an altercation of some sort that causes this person to say you know what i give up i just give up i can't do this anymore i'd rather let this go than be in this relationship where you know it's, it's not what i was dreaming of i'm dreaming of something more so i feel like we do have a masculine that is taking action and he is he's just tired of it i'm tired i'm tired i'm tired i don't want to do this could be a boss if this isn't job related we could have a boss that is fed up they're fed up with the fighting if you've been fighting with somebody at work there's been a lot of conflict it's like you know what you're fired that could certainly be the case somebody is being let go whether it's in a relationship or a job because there's just too much bickering it's like this is ridiculous this is ridiculous so there's definitely a nasty individual here who um is very hard to deal with this person is very hard to deal with she she may lie she may not tell the truth she's bitchy she um doesn't communicate well and she's refusing to see things from any other pers perspective that than her own so we have a we have a feminine here that has is, is this woman is is manipulative okay she's manipulative she um talks shit she uh she's wicked okay she's wicked she may not be a very good mother she's just nasty okay she's a bitch so we have this this woman here and she may be say this is slander she says things without even thinking okay she this is foul play and this could be foul play she does things that are against the law she doesn't tell the truth whatever so we, we do have a feminine here who who doesn't care either she doesn't care who she hurts she's very selfish okay and it looks like the masculine is like you know i'm done with you i'm sick of it i can't i'm tired that's why i'm tired i'm exhausted and fed up so i think there's going to be a fight in between with, between these two people um, somebody, this, it feels like the masculine is making a decision. I know I'm going to get a lot of feminine that, right? Oh, no, no, it's me below. Oh, fine. You can think it's you all you want. Maybe you're masculine. I don't know. But that's what this is right here. Oh, I, you know, this is what I'm talking about right here. This woman, she thinks she's in control. She thinks she knows it all. There's an obstacle that is finally being removed, and it happens to be fear, fear of being alone. Somebody has been staying in a situation because it was comfortable. But I feel like it's better to be alone than to be with somebody that you are not in love with because I don't see any love here. So I feel like there is a decision that is being made. Um, somebody may be deciding to open their own business if this is financial or, or money or career related. This is a business owner. This is somebody that you know, builds themselves up from scratch. Somebody that is very self-sufficient and capable of starting a business and following through with a plan, making a plan and following through. Um, this is enjoying the finer life, being fine, finer things in life and being independent. So this is independently owned as well. So somebody may be going their own way. They may be going their own way and breaking free from something where they were under another person's control. This person's a know-it-all. They, they know it all. And there's nothing you can do to change their mind. It's like, you know what? I'm done fighting with you. I'd rather be my, I'd rather go my own way. So I do believe that we have somebody here that um, is being put in a situation, courtesy of the universe, that where they're not they don't get the space that they need they don't get the space they're not getting the space that they need and it causes a it causes an accident or it causes a fight or it causes a you know um big bang boom okay and uh if you think about it when you hit like this the air what's the airbag do the airbag goes off in your face and it, and it hurts and it wakes you up you know it's like boom you know so somebody might get some epiphany where it's like boom i can't do this i just i can't do this anymore so i feel like we ha there's an obstacle that somebody has been lying somebody has been lying to themselves 
staying in a situation that is, you know, it's comfortable, it's safe, but it's been falling apart for a while. And now I think that they have something in their sight that is more beautiful. You think about roses, that's romance, and this is a beautiful opportunity that you've been wishing for, dreaming of. So somebody is, 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 has a dream that is bigger than this and it's like it's 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 a very romantic dream and they know that they have to take action so something happens that uh causes a big argument and this argument when it comes when it, it's like you know what you win i give up so that's what i see good luck